Hi everyone and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I'm in Disneyland Paris, in Fantasyland to be more precise, standing in front of Auberge de Cendrillon, which is the princess dining restaurant here in Disneyland Paris. Now this restaurant only recently reopened after the pandemic. It's been closed for the past couple of years and before the pandemic it was actually one of my favorite places to dine in. It's not a cheap place, of course it's not because it's character dining, but in my opinion from what I remember it being before the pandemic, the quality of the food was really good, the princess interactions were always very good and the restaurant itself is absolutely gorgeous. So in this video we're going to go in, have a look at the restaurant and see what the new menu is like as well and maybe meet some princesses as well, so come along! So before we go in, let's have a quick look at the menu. So Auberge de saint up there, restaurant over here. And you can see that the set menu for an adult is at 79 euros over there, which is pretty pricey. Like I said, this is mainly, you're paying, mainly paying for characters. You know, think of it this way. You're going to be in a beautiful location, paying for all the characters, the princesses, the royalty that's going to be there with you. And hopefully that's going to make you feel a little bit better about spending that much money. If you are a child though, menu enfant, that one is 46 euros, which is still pretty pricey. I see. But yeah, I'm lucky to have a lunch reservation here at this restaurant today. It's Saturday as well, so I'm very, very lucky because this restaurant, despite its very high price, is very popular because it's one of the best ways for you to meet princesses. So you've got little ones who want to meet princesses. If you go to this restaurant, you get to meet like four of them, four or five of them at once, whilst they're eating a beautiful, you know, meal as well, instead of having to queue up for like two hours at the Princess Pavilion. But yeah, let's go in now and see what it's like. So here we are. This is the beautiful entrance of Auberge de saint If you're wondering where this is as well, it's right next to the carousel of Lancelot in Fancyland and actually there's a little terrace area here as well which I'm going to show you in a second. There you go. This is a little terrace area which could be a lovely place to eat something on you know warmer days, sunnier days and actually down there as well you can see quite an iconic thing at Disneyland Paris which is of course Cinderella's carriage and you can take some photos with it. During the pandemic Cinderella and her prince would actually come out and take some socially distanced photos here with guests but right now because hugs and everything is back and you can have normal character music again this has just turned into being a nice photo location but it is time to actually go inside the restaurant now our reservation time is in a couple of minutes so let's go in how beautiful is this waiting area by the way so this is where you would wait until your name is called to actually be taken to your seats and there's so many cute things to look at you always already feel like you're in a royalty place of course Cinderella's Tavern Cinderella's Inn is what I suppose the translation of uh, Auberge de saint would be I've just given my name over there and I'm gonna sit down here on these wonderful sofas just for a few minutes they said until it's time to go I'm really excited to see who's gonna be there in terms of princesses normally Cinderella with it being Cinderella's place, you know, there's the Cendrillon. Cendrillon is the French name for Cinderella. She is normally guaranteed to be there, but the other princesses, it's going to be a surprise. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Right, so here we are. Oh my god, it's been so long since I've been inside this restaurant. I am so, so happy to be back. Like I said, this is one of my favorite restaurants here in Disneyland Paris. Wow, thank you so much. The lovely cast member that just brought me to my table said that there are four princesses here today, two blondes and two redheads. Um, and I was guessing a couple of characters and he was, he was like, I can't tell you, it's gonna be a surprise. But my guess is Merida, which I'm so excited about if it is her. Ariel, my favorite princess. Of course, Cinderella's gonna be here and maybe Aurora? We're gonna to have to see. Leave your comments down below and your guesses, and we're gonna to see together if we were right. And we've got the menu over here, the adult menu, and actually, Cinderella is in front of us already. I love her dress. This is so so cute. Oh my god! So I just bumped into the lovely Mia, and it's her birthday. How old are you turning, Mia? Nine. Nine years old. That's amazing. And it's your first visit to Disneyland Paris. Yes. Have you had a good time? Yes. And are you enjoying the dining experience with the princesses as well? Yes, I love it. Who have you met so far? Because I've just arrived. I've met Cinderella. Cinderella, Aurora. Okay. Uh, no, I don't see Cinderella, Ariel. Ariel's here. No way. I can't wait to meet her. Thank you so much for saying hi, by the way. And yeah, keep watching the vlogs. That was so, so lovely. And I think it's been confirmed that Merida and Ariel are both here, which is exciting. So let's have a look at the menu now. Properly, for 79 euros, you can get an entree. These are the starters. Um, or the plats over here. Let me see if there's an English one. Oh, there you go. There's an English one. This would be better for you guys. Uh, starter pumpkin soup, which is actually a vegan option. Warm scallops and cauliflower in a creamy lemon and thyme sauce. Or a dark pear and chestnut. I think I'm going to go for the scallops, you know, as my entree, as my starter. And then for my main course, beef casserole in a red wine sauce. I've heard pretty good things about this. Pan-fried turbo filet, 
roast a supreme of chicken or pea and herb finger that's the vegan option down there so the vegan options are all completely new the Zan Paris has really upped this game in recent years for vegan and vegetarian options which is exciting and then these are the dessert options I'm not sure what I'm going to go for to be honest with dessert so I'll have a little thing whilst I enjoy this beautiful view I mean look at the chandelier as well the two chandeliers and the ceilings and Cinderella just going past oh my god I'm getting nervous now what's your name princess I am Sam nice to meet oh, you oh that's a beautiful Cinderella so, you're one of my favorite princesses and I love your dress oh, love everything I, about you all thanks to my fairy godmother yeah. but I see you have her magic you must remember her magic mate her <laughs> magic words yeah yeah I must have done how do they go bibbidi bibbidi bobbidi boo that's right oh thank look you at for that coming to see me no, today thank you the first princess I've met today as well obviously it's your place as well why I'm pleased to welcome you <laughs> are you liking my restaurant so far it's beautiful it's a oh. stunning place oh you're too kind thank you thank you so much Cinderella let's take some portraits yes today. please let's do so well that was a wonderful surprise I was definitely caught by surprise because Cinderella was just there earlier and then she went back and I thought maybe she's kind of done her round in this room and she might come later seeing as I've just arrived but then she came and she was so lovely <laughs> when she literally came from here I wasn't filming and I jumped a little bit she was like oh I'm so sorry I startled you I was like no 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 it's fine it's a really good surprise I'm just I didn't expect you and she was like I know I didn't want you to think I've missed you out blah 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 she was amazing really really cute I do really enjoy her dress and she said she really enjoys the sparkles on me as well today these are the 30th anniversary ears so I'm happy also I'm kind of wearing blue this top actually has got a castle on it but it's from Hong Kong Disneyland you can see the Hong Kong Disneyland embroidered here so yeah kind of similar to her color of the dress so I've just been brought some little cheese madeleines over here which is so cute I think it's just complimentary on the menu it does say um, yeah, royal cocktail and cheese madeleine I'm um, looking forward to these these smell really lovely so that's nice and then that's the royal cocktail I believe obviously non-alcoholic and I think um, the customer said it comes with like it's a variety of basically fruits and strawberry is one of them so I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it or not but we shall see but just look how beautiful this restaurant is honestly I mean this is just one of the rooms I've actually never eaten in this part of the restaurant before this restaurant is pretty big and there are so many different things to look at so after I finish my food I am gonna go around and show you some of the other rooms too oh why hello there <laughs> hello Aurora it's so lovely to meet you lovely to meet you too are you having this? a magical day so far it's been really magical yes oh it has and what adventures have you been on um, I saw loads of people, loads of characters on the parade earlier, which was amazing. I love the song. Oh, you so did? How cute. exciting. Oh, they are fun, aren't they? Yeah. I do love dancing to them. <laughs> yeah, it's an amazing song, isn't it? I met Cinderella earlier as well. Oh, you did? Oh, so she's ever cute. so kind and beautiful. Yeah. And someone told me, the cast member here told me that there's two blonde princesses here today. So I've met Cinderella and you're the second one. <laughs> and I love your hair. You look incredible. Oh, love thank the dress you ever well. so much. Oh, did you know that my three fairies made my dress for me? Oh, wow. Amazing. They yeah. did. And Aunt Flora, she turned it pink this morning. Oh, you lovely. know, sometimes Aunt Merryweather, she likes to turn blue. blue instead. <laughs> exactly. Not gonna lie, I do prefer blue as a colour, but you look amazing in print. Oh, well, well. thank you so much. They're both nice. I love both of them exactly. equally as well. Of course. <laughs> thank you, Laura. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I keep having to peek through the other rooms to see who the next princess is gonna be because I don't want to jump again. I feel like the positioning of my table is quite awkward. I mean, I'm really awkward with princesses anyway, as you probably know if you've watched any of my previous character interactions, especially with face characters. But uh, yeah, it doesn't help that I can't actually see what's happening until they just come and I'm like, ah! But Aura was lovely, she was beautiful, I really enjoyed meeting her. These cheese madeleines are pretty good by the way. Not something that I'm used to. Normally madeleines are like sweet, uh, from my experience anyway, but I do like cheese and this is a unique flavour that I've never really tasted before in like this format and as a madeleine but you know salty. But I do enjoy it, it's a nice little pre-starter if you like. Amazing, thank you so much. So I went for apple juice as my drink of choice, as I normally tend to do, and then I didn't realise we also get some bread and butter, so a couple of nice warm, Oh, this is nice, normally in Disneyland Paris restaurants the bread doesn't come warm, but these are nice and warm, and then you also get butter as well, this is all in addition to what you saw earlier with the madeleines, which I've already eaten one of them, I'm probably going to eat the other one as well later on, but the butter here is a Disney butter, which is quite cute. This is basically the butter that they tend to use in most of the nice sit-down restaurants here at Disneyland Paris. So there you go. Oh, that's a cute little thing as well on the jar. 
So I'm gonna have a little bit of bread and butter as I wait for the next two sprinkles because I have already seen just from a distance. I've seen Merida and uh, Ariel, so yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I don't really know what state Ariel when she does come. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I have to say this bread and butter is genuinely really good. I'd already tasted butter before on previous visits to either this restaurant or other visit down this restaurant. Here, so I knew that was gonna be good. But the bread is actually really nice as well. So <laughs> despite not wanting to, I've already actually almost finished one whole loaf. Thankfully, my starter has arrived because it's given me <laughs> any reason to stop eating the bread because otherwise I would have probably eaten and finished the second one as well but I went for the scallops as I said the warm scallops um, I think it's with like a lemon uh, sauce I want to say but this is how it's presented uh, the plate is nice and warm as well which I always appreciate at restaurants so yeah looking forward to trying this it looks pretty good Cinderella just went past again and said goodbye princess I just can't I can't well an actual princess and Cinderella who's a princess herself calls someone like me a princess I mean can it get more magical I don't think so anyway let's give this uh, a go I'm really looking forward to it actually it smells really lovely so hopefully it's gonna taste nice as well yes yeah, so I remember what it was now it was like scallops with some cauliflower which I've got here and a lemon type of sauce so yeah now, I don't normally like lemony things but the sauce they've used for this is quite mild so it's not like a heavy tasting lemon thing it's not very citrusy so actually I'm enjoying it the scallops as well they're done very well they taste very nice I like how they're presented too I wouldn't say it's a phenomenal starter but it does taste really nice actually I have to say the more I eat of this the more I enjoy it the scallops are phenomenal really really nice the sauce is lovely as well the cauliflowers everything uh, yeah really actually nice I didn't expect to love it as much as I did initially with my first bite I was just like yeah it's all right but it's one of those things where I think the more you eat the more you realize how good it actually is and I've been using some of my bread as well with this um, and it's made it even better and I think Ariel might be coming here soon hello Ariel hello. Hi, lovely to meet you lovely to meet you too what's your name my name is Sam lovely to meet you Sam nice to meet you Ariel <laughs> you're one of my favorite princesses really yeah you're oh, awesome you're so, you so cool much. your story is amazing oh thank you so much and yeah no thank you thank and it's you. your first time here in Disneyland uh, no I've been here a few times okay uh, I've dined here as well a few times but oh. not for a long long time so okay. I'm so happy to be back oh, oh your guests Thank you so, so much. stunning. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Thank you so much. Although, to be fair, I do love you as a mermaid as well. So. Oh, oh my goodness. I love you both as well. To exactly. be a mermaid and be exactly. 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 Yeah. Thankfully, that went way better than I thought it would. Hello. And um, yeah, she was lovely. She really was lovely. I had to be honest with her at the end and just tell her that I do also like her as a, as a, as a mermaid. Because basically, I keep saying this a lot in my videos about how everyone's was my. Oh, hello. <laughs> In there? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Hello. Maybe you'll find something. I don't know. Does it lead you to your face? Yeah. Hopefully it, it will. It does? I've not tried it yet, but maybe it will. Do you want to change your face? I would love to. <gasps> you would love to? Yes. You okay. taught me It to. can get better and it can get worse. Yeah, you taught me that it's one of those things where you can't... be careful. Absolutely, world. absolutely. Shall we get a photo? Yes, please, Merida. Nice oh, to meet you. Oh. Well, I definitely feel like I was more awkward with Merida just so that I was with Ariel. I don't know. I just didn't expect her to come. But she was so lovely. She was amazing. And I think now that I've met all four princesses, so Aurora, Cinderella, Ariel and Merida, I can kind of relax and hopefully enjoy the rest of my meal because character meals are stressful they really are unless you're a child I feel like if you're a child you just don't care you're just having a great time but for adults in my opinion they can be pretty stressful so my main course has arrived the beef casserole with a red wine sauce and firstly I feel like it's a pretty good portion actually again the plate is nice and warm which I always appreciate I think that's a, for me in my opinion it's the sign of a good restaurant when the actual plate comes warm as well um, yeah it looks really good I feel like it almost looks like a heart let me know if you can see as well the way um, the meat has been located and the sauce smells really nice there's some carrots there as well under there yeah very much looking forward to trying this oh and I didn't even see this you also get some creamy mashed potato with it like a cheesy creamy mash I believe which oh my god now I feel like this is too much food Lord have mercy but this looks nice as well so I'm gonna try my best to eat as much as possible I can't wait to try this stuff because this is smelling so so nice and if you're wondering the time at the moment is about quarter past four and suddenly this restaurant feels a lot more quiet I'm not sure what's happened maybe because it's no longer you know peak lunchtime there's there aren't as many people here maybe they have a little bit of a break between lunch and dinner I'm not completely sure but I do know that they do have this restaurant open for dinner too you might just be one of the last people here for lunch but without further ado oh my god oh wow I haven't had food like this in a long long time actually so 
there you go this is a little piece of the meat casserole i'm just going to taste the meat on its own first and then we'll have some carrots and mashed potato with it as well Wow, wow, wow. This is incredible. The way they've cooked this meat, it just like melts in your mouth, which is stunning. The sauce as well, the red wine sauce, goes so well with the meat. I could easily just eat the meat on its own and not even touch the mashed potato. However, I have heard pretty good things about the mashed potato as well, so I will of course do that. But let me just take another bite. This is stunning. This is a stunning meal. I absolutely love it. I can already recommend. The beef casserole at Auberge is incredible. But let's try some of the mashed potato as well because I'm curious. Like I said, I've heard really good things about the mashed potato and I'm not normally a big mashed potato fan. I don't know why. I just, I much prefer potato being in the form of other things like fried potato, baked potatoes, anything but mash. It's just something that I've not really ever enjoyed in life. So I'm curious to see if this is gonna change my mind because it's got some cheese in it apparently. Oh. You just heard some screams in the background. Let's let's give this a go. Okay, this is amazing. This is wow. I did not expect to love mashed potato so much, but this particular mashed potato, because it's got some cheese in it and it's very, very creamy. Maybe I just haven't had a good mashed potato in the 31 years of my life before because this, let me just show it to you. This is honestly fantastic. Yeah, that's really good. That's nothing like any of the mashed potatoes I've had before in my life. So I am going to enjoy my meal now. This meat, this meat casserole seems very, very big as well. So who knows if I'll be able to finish it or not. But I'm definitely going to enjoy it regardless of how much of it I can eat and the mashed potato as well. Fantastic. So bon appetit. I'll speak to you after. Well, I am defeated. I am absolutely defeated by the food. And I'm so sad because the food is delicious. Like my main course is probably one of the best main courses I've had in any of the restaurants here at Disneyland Palace. It was so, so good. To be fair, I've eaten most of the meat. So as you can see here, there's only a little bit of that left. But the mashed potatoes, that's a whole different story. There was a lot of mashed potato in that little bowl thing. Like you might not think it, but it actually was a lot because of how deep the bowl went. And I'm so sad again like I, like I said both of the things both the mashed potato and the meat and the carrots and the red wines was everything were just so phenomenally good and I almost wish I hadn't eaten that bread and butter beforehand I mean to be fair I didn't eat the whole thing like I've still got some bread left but maybe I should have just not even eaten anything so that I could have had some space for this because um, I love it and I don't know when I'm gonna come back to this restaurant to eat it again but what I can say is that the beef casserole and the mashed potato but I think most of the um, options on this menu at Aubert actually do come with the mash on the side incredible definitely recommend it so for my dessert which has just arrived and I have no idea how I'm gonna eat I went for the 30th anniversary celebration cake now this isn't specific to Aubert de Cendrillon you can get this same dessert in quite a few of the other sit-down restaurants as well I know that Waltz has the exact same thing as well this is basically a special 30th anniversary dessert that they've released for the birthday and you've got the Disneyland Paris logo here you've got loads of fireworks around the dessert it's a very cutely presented dessert I have to be honest and you've even got the logo the Mickey 30th logo on the top of the cake a flower this is a beautiful dessert for sure some little stars as well around it so let's give this a go wow it's a triple layered cake I'm excited to taste it yeah it's nice it's like white chocolate mousse and some I want to say raspberry mousse inside it and then on top I think this is gonna be probably chocolate so we're gonna give this 30th anniversary logo a try as well yeah it doesn't really taste of too much but the dessert's all right it's not the best thing about this whole meal by any means the main course was definitely my favorite the dessert looks cute and it is a beautiful dessert it really is and the only reason i went for this rather than any of the other desserts on the menu that was specific to your best because all the other ones seem to have some kind of strawberry thing in them and i really don't like strawberry i'm not a fan of strawberry so anything that has a taste of strawberry i just don't enjoy and the, the uh, cast member suggested this one because it's raspberry instead of strawberry and that i can take at least so there you go but let's have a look at the total price of my meal here at auberge de cendrillon so as you would have seen uh, on the menu outside per adult this meal is 
uh, 79 euros and then with my magic plus annual pass i got about eight euros of a discount so um that kind of went down a little bit but i went for a drink as well which i didn't actually realize that the drink wasn't included uh, the cast member just came and asked if i wanted any drinks and i asked for an apple juice uh, so obviously that made um that added uh, four euro 60 to my meal but then obviously with the discount it went back to being at 75 euros so just bear that in mind you don't get a drink included in the price of the menu so 79 euros is for just the three courses without the drink although of course you do get the complimentary royal cocktail non-alcoholic cocktail that they brought to me to me uh, at the beginning of the meal so um, if you're happy to just have that throughout your meal then you're fine 79 euros will do you don't have to pay any extra but if you're like me and want something else with your meal like i really wanted apple juice obviously i had to pay a bit extra for it but it's okay i knew what i was coming in for like this is an expensive restaurant but it's worth it for special occasions if you've got children or if you yourself just love meeting princesses it is a beautiful place to dine at before we go though i did want to show you the dining rooms a little bit more in detail so you've already seen where i was sat and this is again in the same room but look at the details again so cool you've got the pumpkin for cinderella's carriage because it is auberge de cendrillon and you see that all the way through you've got some nice artwork everywhere as well and then here you've got some nice details on the top with the walls and everything and then and that one over there that's like quite a big table so if you're a bigger group you can have that nice little booth over there and then there's some can uh, candles and just ornaments over here a little fireplace this is literally where i was sitting that's my chair <laughs> that's my bag over there this i would say is the main dining room which is right next to the one that we were at like this is where we were and connected to it we've got here and this is actually where i've mainly eaten at in the past few visits that i've had here at auberge de cendrillon i've uh, been lucky enough to be in the main dining room however what you need to note is that if you are in the main dining room you're probably going to find it a little bit more noisy you're probably going to find it a bit more stressful because where i was it was pretty quiet and i kind of enjoy that to be honest but i'm sure you can imagine just how crazy this main dining room at auberge can get and if you can't actually imagine it watch some of my previous vlogs i do have some vlogs from eating here at auberge de saint -Rion from many many years ago some as early as 2014 15 16 and then the last time i was here was in 2019 so just a year before the pandemic hit but this is a gorgeous restaurant it really is look at all the artworks everywhere cinderella and her prince and then if you're sat here by the window you can literally look through to her carriage which we saw outside earlier and then this last dining room i've also eaten here a couple of times before with my friend rakaya actually once and then also with my friend rebecca so shout out to my friend rebecca here we've got some more artwork some like tapestry type of artwork and then as we keep going oh my god that artwork over there of cinderella bless her i find that so so sweet and then loads of tables and seats over here as well the chandeliers are a little bit different too as you can see and as we keep going we get to that final part of the restaurant and actually this is where i once ate with my friend rebecca i think that was literally the exact table we were at in 2017 but yeah these tables here are quite nice as well because you're by the window so you've still got the little bit of the secluded feeling that you get uh kind of similar to where i was at uh, today in that last time dining room but there you go so two sides of the restaurant that main bit is of course the main area the main dining hall and here's one last look at the main dining room which has probably some of the most beautiful artwork of cinderella and her prince and different characters uh, from cinderella as well there you go this is where they get married over there very cute this is actually just behind where i was sat so you know the fireplace obviously i was just on the other side of it and this is why i kept getting scared so yeah that was my situation my table was just here behind the fireplace that's where i was sat and then a lot of the princesses would just come through here we're already in the main dining room again Hello. and this is where yeah we just were well some last bits of detail to show you here as well some beautiful just i suppose figurines and and plates and this restaurant <laughs> you basically get what you pay for so 79 euros may seem like a hefty price because it is it really is especially if you're a bigger family if you're a group of you it can add up and it can be extremely expensive but as you saw it's, it is a lovely restaurant the character interactions were lovely and obviously i'm an adult imagine being a child there's so many children having oh someone's got a birthday right now as well yes there's so many children having beautiful moments with the princesses so of course if you've got a child with you who is princess obsessed the princesses are going to actually spoil them and spend a lot of time with them even more so than they did with me because i'm just an adult 
happy birthday to that person and with that we are gonna slowly but surely make our way out of Auberge de saint -Rion. and I did check with the cast members as well so this restaurant is open until 3.30 so 15.30 uh, for lunch and then they have a small break for a couple of hours and then they're back open from 6 o'clock 6 p.m. for dinner but I'm curious to hear what you think about this restaurant so let me know in the comments down below if you've ever eaten here at Auberge de saint -Rion, or would you consider coming here I mean you saw kind of the experience that I had I met four princesses one thing I will say is that pre-covid you got to meet four princesses as well as um, Susie and Perla so the mice from Cinderella and I didn't see them today they weren't around they haven't been around post covid maybe they'll bring them back I feel like it's better with them there because I'm very bad with these characters I find it quite awkward whereas with fur characters so we know with the mice I'm a little bit more relaxed with them I mean don't get me wrong I still say awkward things to them but it's just a little bit more relaxed but yeah 79 euros it's definitely an expensive restaurant in fact I actually remember years and years ago about 10 years ago a decade ago um, when I first saw Auberge de saint uh, and I looked at the menu and at the time it was actually priced at around maybe 50 euros I remember walking past the menu and just being like 50 euros for a meal like, that is crazy why would anybody pay that and then look at me now I've been here a few times I'm very very lucky and very very fortunate to have you know been able to come here quite a few times I guess you know 10 years ago I was also younger I was at uni I was just a student but it's one of those things where obviously with me coming back you can tell that I do enjoy the experience despite its price I feel like it is worth it because characters are fun and like I said especially if you've got children who love princesses this is definitely a great way to get them to meet loads of them at once and have a nice meal at the same time and you know Know, enjoy a lovely location too it's definitely not for everyone so bear that in mind don't come here if you're expecting a nice quiet meal you know there can be quite noises there like loads of kids around and I would say it's not as noisy as Plaza Gardens which is another character meal here but it's still quite noisy and depending on which dining area you're at it can get even noisier so it's not going to be a relaxing meal it can be quite stressful but it's a beautiful restaurant and for princesses it's worth it but that is just my opinion let me know in the comments down below thank you so much for watching big shout out again to Mia and her lovely mom that I met there from Chicago and it was the first time in Disneyland Paris it was lovely to meet them they watched the videos and it was Mia's ninth birthday I believe you saw her say hi to the video yeah that is it thank you so much I'll see you in the next one bye bye